the Sacred Heart Church in El Paso. It's one of the oldest parishes in town. Now it's become a refuge. Migrants have been gathering here every day to receive food and clothes and shelter indoors at night. Andrea from Venezuela made the dangerous journey to the U.S. with her two children, mother and sister. She is clear she cannot return home and face violence and hunger once again. I went hungry and I don't want my children to go hungry again. I don't want to tell them that there's nothing to eat. As I tell them there's nothing to eat, they have vomited on me. I don't want to go to Venezuela right now with this situation. I don't want to. More than a thousand migrants are arriving in El Paso every day from countries like Nicaragua and Venezuela. Shelters are already overflowing and resources running thin. Officials say if the pandemic era policy Title 42 is lifted, the number of migrants could triple. The pastor of Sacred Heart Church, Father Rafael Garcia, believes the U.S. can accommodate millions of migrants, but it cannot be up to border cities alone. His church and local NGOs are operating beyond capacity. The problem is becoming a big burden. In many ways, it's very inhumane how people are being treated here at this bottleneck or this funnel, you know, that's what I like to call because this is the point of entry. So unless you can move people quickly, you, you end up with a disaster here, a crisis here. For Irma Cruz of the NGO Border Network for Human Rights, the crisis is a symptom of a broken system. Her organization lobbies elected officials to reform immigration policy on a whole. We hope that people are given due process, with dignity, with respect, that they can present their cases, and it will be up to a judge to determine whether they stay or whether they don't stay. Amid that political battle, migrants here are in limbo. At night, the temperatures in El Paso drop below 5 degrees Celsius. Les pedimos la entrada de una manera ordenada. The church hosts dozens of families in this former gym. They receive hot food, access to showers and bathrooms. But there are far more people than available space. The rest stock up on a hot meal to gird against the cold and the uncertainty. They don't want to let more people through or give them asylum. The United States is denying asylum right now, even though it's a country that fights for asylum rights. For now, these migrants bundle up for another long night on the street.